Tsinghua University has made great contributions, recently reported by CCTV. Tsinghua University has successfully developed the Tai Chi photon chip. In terms of computing speed, it is 1,000 times faster than silicon chips. This is definitely a significant breakthrough for Chinese chips. The chips we talk about in our daily lives are mostly silicon based chips. It combines the transistors required for the circuit, resistance, components such as capacitors and inductors are interconnected with wiring, made on semiconductor chips with silicon based dielectric, then proceed with packaging. This type of chip has billions, even billions, billions of transistors. What are these transistors used for? After power on, it can disconnect the current, zoom in, stable voltage, rectification. With the development of Moore's law, the chip has iterated to 3 nm. With the development of AI, soon, the 3 nanometers chip was not enough. What's even more embarrassing is that I don't have an advantage in the field of cutting edge chips. The basic material silica sand is monopolized by the United States. According to relevant data, the United States has a monopoly on high-purity quartz sand, accounting for over 90% of the global market share. The most advanced EUV lithography machine is monopolized by ASML in the Netherlands. Domestic lithography machines achieve mass production with an accuracy of only 90 nanometers. EUV photoresist masks are also mostly monopolized by Japan. That is to say, beauty, day, he controlled the lifeline of silicon-based chips. We are very passive. It is also difficult to make breakthroughs in high-end chips. In addition, silicon-based chips perform related operations through electronic movement. Electronic mobility requires electricity consumption, and it also generates heat. Take ChatGPT as an example. It can produce over 500,000 kilowatt hours of electricity in a day, if we continue to upgrade and iterate, if we continue to popularize, so the electricity consumption will be very huge. NVIDIA CEO Huang Rinkson said, AI still has to rely on photovoltaics and energy storage to carry the banner in the end, just thinking about how to improve computing power is not enough, keep going like this. A computer alone would consume 14 Earths of energy. OpenAI CEO Ultraman, we also plan to raise $7 trillion in research and development to expand global production of AI chips. This series of challenges for domestically produced chips, it is even more difficult. The required funds are even larger. Follow this path. Let's not talk about whether we can lead in technology for now. It's just that even the funds can't be invested, the energy consumed will further increase global temperatures. So, future development must take other paths, and this time Tsinghua University has made great contributions. The Tai Chi photon chip developed, successfully solved these difficulties, compared to silicon-based electronic chips, photonic chips have great advantages, they utilize optical signal transmission, processing and converting data. Its speed is close to the speed of light, simultaneously possessing enormous bandwidth, can transmit massive amounts of data. It's simply tailor-made for AI. During data transmission, photons, basically no heat loss. It has obvious advantages in energy efficiency compared to electronic chips. Because the generated heat is very small, can be densely packaged, there is no need for a large number of heat dissipation devices during use, the transmission speed of photon chips is extremely fast, in the process of massive, when it comes to complex calculations, almost no delay issues occur, photonic chips can transmit multiple frequencies of optical signals in the same optical fiber. Allow simultaneous parallel processing of multiple data streams, provides the possibility for large-scale computing in AI applications. Meanwhile, photonic chips can also reduce dependence on the lithography process. 
it can be successfully manufactured without the need for two advanced lithography machines. The team led by Dai Chong Hai and Fang Lu from Tsinghua University, the developed optoelectronic chips can be said to have epoch-making significance, Professor Dai Chong Hai. He is currently an academician of the CAE member, Dean of the School of Information Science and Technology at Tsinghua University. In stereo vision, 3D reconstruction, a large amount of fundamental research has been done in the field of computational instruments, attempting to reveal the laws of the nervous system and neuroscience, to provide support for the creation of a new generation of artificial intelligence, Feng Lu is currently an associate professor of electronic engineering at Tsinghua University. Doctoral supervisor, mainly engaged in research on the theory and technology of intelligent imaging of light fields, proposed a new principle of unstructured light field perception, developed a scanning light field element imaging sensor, overcoming the inherent contradiction between space and perspective. Realized dynamic light field imaging at the level of 1 billion pixels, the team they led abandoned the electronic chip computing method, turning to research on luminescent computing architecture, we have successfully developed the Interference Diffraction Heterojunction Integrated Chip Taichi, implemented universal intelligent computing with 160 TOPS W. H100 has a computing power of 2000 flops, the power consumption has reached 700W, equivalent to 285 flops W, in terms of energy consumption. Tai Chi is 56 times higher than H100. You should know that H100 is NVIDIA's product that has been iterated for over 20 years, if the Tai Chi chip iterates for more than 20 years. What would be the effect, in November 2003, the team's paper on the optoelectronic fusion computing framework published in the journal Nature shows that their first fully analog optoelectronic intelligent chip has been developed, the computing speed is 460 million times per second, it is 15 times larger than the NVIDIA A100. The energy consumption is even more than 4 million times that of high-performance chips, that is to say, the high-performance electronic chip can run for an hour on battery. It can support the operation of optoelectronic chips for more than 500 years. In the traditional chip field, we have been stuck in the neck all along. Always suppressed and restricted. But in the field of optical chips, we have achieved world leadership. This reminds me of our automotive industry. In the traditional field of fuel vehicles, there is a significant gap between us and foreign giants, Toyota, Volkswagen, Ford, Universal, Kier and other overseas brands sell better than us. Cooperation between domestic car companies and overseas brands, born Shanghai Volkswagen, Fa Toyota, BMW Brilliance, Chengen Ford and others, although sales have increased, but we haven't obtained the core technology yet and profits are also taken away by overseas car companies, with the birth of new energy vehicles. We have made great efforts to develop, finally mastering the three electricity, core technologies such as intelligent driving, improved the relevant industry chain, cultivated a large number of skilled workers, ultimately becoming a leader in the field of new energy vehicles, Tesla in the field of new energy vehicles. We have also started to lay off employees. Musk even said that among the top 10 global electric vehicle companies in the future, nine of them will be Chinese companies. Nowadays, we have also opened up a new front in the field of chips and in a leading position if we strive for research and development. At the same time, actively supporting the industrial chain, cultivate technical talents, so in the future, we will also have a turnaround battle in the chip field, utilizing the high performance of optical chips, high bandwidth, low power consumption, developing our own AI chips by leveraging AI technology to support chip development. Even in various industries at that time, Chinese technology will dance gracefully on the world stage, 
The United States is once again intervening in the chip cooperation between Huawei and ZTE. This move has attracted widespread attention and discussion. Today, let's delve deeper into the truth behind this event. Huawei and ZTE are both high-tech enterprises in China. They are in communication equipment. Smartphones and other fields play a crucial role, and chips are a key component of these products. It is crucial for the survival and development of enterprises, therefore, the chip cooperation between Huawei and ZTE. Not only does it conform to market laws, it is also an inevitable choice for the development of enterprises. However, the United States intervened in this regard, claiming that the cooperation between Huawei and ZTE violates U.S. law. This statement is truly laughable. You know, the cooperation between Huawei and ZTE is taking place in China. Fully comply with Chinese laws and market rules, the United States is thousands of miles away, why criticize Chinese companies for cooperation? The true purpose of the United States is not about so-called legal issues, but rather out of concern for one's own interests. In recent years, China's development speed in the field of science and technology is astonishing. Especially in 5G, significant achievements have been made in cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, this has put unprecedented pressure on the United States. I am worried that my dominant position in the field of technology will be challenged in order to safeguard one's own interests. The United States has taken a series of measures to curb the development of Chinese technology. This includes suppression of Huawei and ZTE, from prohibiting Huawei from participating in the construction of 5 grams networks in the United States, to restrict ZTE's use of American chips and technology from the current intervention in the chip cooperation between Huawei and ZTE. The United States has resorted to every means possible. Can these measures really prevent the development of Chinese technology? Obviously not. In fact, the suppression by the United States has instead stimulated the fighting spirit and innovative spirit of Chinese technology enterprises. Huawei and ZTE have not been defeated. On the contrary, the more setbacks one faces in adversity, the braver they become, continuously achieving new breakthroughs and achievements. Take Huawei as an example, despite being sanctioned and suppressed by the United States, but it still maintains a strong development momentum in the 5 grams field. Huawei's technological leadership advantage continues to expand in the smartphone market. Huawei's market share is steadily increasing. In terms of chip development, Huawei has made significant breakthroughs, successfully developed Kirin chips with independent intellectual property rights. Similarly, ZTE has also shown strong vitality under the suppression of the United States. It actively adjusts its strategy and business layout, increase investment in research and development, continuously improving independent innovation capabilities. Nowadays, ZTE is no longer the company that relies on American technology and chips, but rather a technology giant with strong independent research and development capabilities and core competitiveness. On the other hand, in the United States, the technological hegemony is being increasingly challenged, in addition to competitive pressure from China, the contradictions and problems within the United States are also constantly being exposed. For example, the recent lawsuit by the U.S. Department of Commerce against Apple is a typical example. This indicates that there are also serious competition and unfair behavior issues within the U.S. technology industry. In this case, the United States should reflect on whether its policies and actions are reasonable and effective. Instead of blindly suppressing and sanctioning Chinese technology companies, after all, in today's globalized world, the economic connections between countries are becoming increasingly close, the degree of interdependence is constantly increasing, no country can stand alone, 
It is even more impossible to maintain one's own interests through unilateralism and protectionism. This time, the United States has once again intervened in the cooperation between Huawei and ZTE chips, reminder once again, the technological competition between China and the United States has entered a new stage, at this stage, we need to maintain a clear mind and firm beliefs, to see the challenges. We also need to see opportunities, to cope with external pressure, we also need to strengthen internal unity, only in this way, only in this technological competition can we, to achieve the ultimate victory, to achieve the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation, with the rapid development of global artificial intelligence technology. The AI chip market has become a new focus in the technology field, the Chinese market has also recently ushered in a new competitive landscape, due to US technology export controls on China, NVIDIA is unable to sell its most powerful AI chip, H100 GPU, to Chinese customers, so we launched an AI chip specifically designed for the Chinese market H20. This move has sparked competition with Huawei's Ascend 910B chip. This competition is not just a hardware specification showdown, it is also an important battlefield for the competition of technological strength between China and the United States. It will also promote the further development of AI chip technology. In this competition, the launch of NVIDIA H20 chips aims to meet the demand for AI chips in the Chinese market, and complied with the US export ban, although it has been downgraded in hardware specifications compared to H100 GPU, but the H20 chip still has powerful AI processing capabilities, this move enables NVIDIA to maintain competitiveness in the Chinese market. At the same time, it also demonstrates NVIDIA's emphasis on the Chinese market. Huawei's Ascend 910B chip has also demonstrated strong competitiveness in the AI chip market in China, in addition to outstanding performance, the Ascend 910B chip also has high adaptability, can meet the needs of different industries. The needs of different scenarios, Huawei has also demonstrated strong market competitiveness through deep cultivation in the local market and ecosystem construction, more importantly, Huawei's Ascend 910B chip has received support from the Chinese government, in line with the domestic substitution policy proposed by the Chinese government. This policy will further promote the expansion of Huawei chips in the domestic market, this competition for AI chips between China and the United States.